G'day stampers, Sonia Bernard here, linked by Ink, your independent stamping up demonstrator. And today is, what day is it? Um, Thursday the 28th of March, 2024. And I am bringing you today a little technique that um, we saw on stage. And this was um, demonstrated by Michelle Sturgeon. Amazing demonstrator, so hilarious. Had the whole place, like 2,000 people cracking up. It was so much fun. And we're going to be using the new Hearts and Hugs stamp set. Yes, sneak peek. This is not available until May 1st. However, if you join in April, I need to get a start date for you. But you can add, I think it's April 2nd because we can do pre-order. So April 2nd, if you want to join my team, and join the um, Linked by Ink Far and Wide community, then you can add these products to your starter kit, meaning you can add whatever you want, and then you can also do a pre-order after you, because the kit, the starter kit, it's um, $99, and you get $125 worth of product. So after, it's so easy, $125 can go like that. So um, after you spend that, you can go back in, and you can place a pre-order and there's a select list um, a little icon pops up and it tells you what you can pre-order so look at that also you can put in retiring products in your starter kit too yes anything that's going away there's a lot going away but there's also a lot staying there's some stuff going to online exclusives it's all very exciting but, um, so this technique is so easy peasy, I love it. It is making your own, um, internet, making your own mask out of a window sheet and a die. And, um, so like I said, I've done Michelle's version. I prepped that, so that's what we're going to make today. But I also did this morning, I whipped up my own little version um, as well so in I did starfish so let me show you these two cards so you can see what we're talking about this is Michelle's card it's adorable look at that so this is a stencil these hearts now this is actually die cut here but these little hearts in the background are a stencil and then I've done this little starfish card with just I love you very I wanted to like really make it simple and quick and easy so um that's what i did just whip that up this morning little wink of sour on here i know it's not in stock but it's coming it's coming such supply and demand it's been in demand so um i'm going to take you through how to make this real quick so easy so simple you're gonna love it we'll put the card together then i'm going to show you some sneak peeks of other cards i made for my april in-person classes and the sneak peeks of the stamp set so you can have a uh, have a little look see at that I'm not doing a full unboxing yet of all the goodies I got, um, but I'm going to show you the new in colors and a couple of stamp sets and some sample cards that I, um, I cased most of it from on stage um, because they show us on stage so that we can go and take it and go, oh, look, guys, here, yeah, see what we saw. And if you want to see what we saw in the flesh, then join the team. And next year, it'll be March, beginning of March again. Um, I think it's like the 12th, 13th, 14th, somewhere around that time. We're going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now I'm in South Carolina, so it's like a four-hour drive up the street. But like this last one, I had to fly all the way to Houston. So I'm excited that I just get to drive and um, get up there. I'm going to try to take some of my team with me who are local. I'm going to try to get some of my team who are far and wide from me to join as well because it's so much fun, and I swear... This on stage was the best one to date, and they just keep getting better. So, so exciting. Okay, uh, I'm not excited. You're excited. <laughs> I am excited. Okay, I'm going to do some little um, things here. Change this. I have to press these little buttons and everything, but I don't want to be right up in your face when I'm doing it. And hopefully I did that right. Then we'll turn this down. And get this on and hopefully I really do need to update my system so I've got something a little better in place let's make sure that we're up the right way 
you can't see the massive amount of junk I have all around me. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm going on vacation next week, like vacation, vacation. So um, everything's been a little crazy, trying to get my taxes finished. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Sorry, just slurping my coffee like my husband. Jeez, he is a coffee slurper. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, drinking my coffee. I'm like, what's all the noise? <laughs> Anyone else have a husband or a, a spouse or a better half, whatever, who um, who slurps their coffee? They make it so hot that it's like burning them almost. Oh, well, where's my... There's always one thing, isn't there? Hot mess express hard at work today. Here we go. I forgot my bone folder. Okay. It is so dark outside and gloomy and rainy. It's really affecting the lighting in here. But it is Thursday, so i got to get this recorded and up. I'm wondering if I should do lives. I really don't like lives <laughs> because I find it hard to, like, stay focused. I, I think I might have some, like, issues there. So I do find it a little hard. So we've just got this basic white card base, right? And then we've got this fun flirty flamingo layer and this layer is three and three quarter by five inches and then you're going to need another piece of basic white and this is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths now I don't know if that was her measurements or not um her being Michelle Sturgeon I just did me <laughs> so that's what I did there I also used a different embossing folder here um, and I'm not sure that she actually did Flirty Flamingo. I think it was. It's, sometimes it's hard when you take a picture and, you know, with all the lighting and everything. And I'm like, I'll believe that's what it is. So, we have got the new Hearts and Hug Hugs. So adorable. She did so many cute cards. I'm actually going to show you another one that I cased using this little... There's a... It's either a gerbil or a hamster. But no one said Flying Squirrel yet. So, um... It could be that too. So this is such a fun set. And you've got these little dies here. These little heart dies, right? And you could also do this with flowers. That would look super cute. So you get a window sheet. And you, I cut it like a little bit bigger, obviously, than what I need. Just so I've got covered the whole piece there. But you get your window sheet. And then you put your... Um, your dies down randomly. Oh, here's my cat coming to say hi. And you run it through, right? And sorry, you're going to get some cat tail there. Um, nope. Oh, yep, there it is. There's a 20 second delay. So you run these dies through and then you pop it out, reposition, and you just place them in random places. Now, in full disclosure, I just tried, I just copied hers. So I kind of put where she had them, right? But you, it does not have to be like how I have it. Just do it random. And then when I did my little starfish today, you can see I just I did make it a little wider. And I even put a little one on the edge here, you know, in case I wanted to go off the edge. But there's there's plenty there that's just random. I'm hoping you can see that. You know what? Let's let's make sure you're seeing what I'm what I'm showing you. Let's see if we can use this as a background. Let's see. I'm going to wait for the camera to catch up. There we go. Okay. This is actually Shy Shamrock. It's a new ink color. So, um, that is the starfish. So, you can see there where they're just all cut out. And this can be used over and over and over again. And there's the hearts one. I actually made this a little longer than I needed it to be, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you get the general idea, right? So you simply do that. Too easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? And then it's just a matter of getting a little bit of paper. We're going to get the paper that we're going to um, stencil onto. And oh, stand up. We used, I used a flirty flamingo. Now you can use any color you want. You can use any stencil you want. Just remember, if you're cutting something out, it's going to, like if you try to use a big one, it's going to cut that whole big piece out. So 
I suggest using more, you know, smaller shaped dies for this. I think that would just be um, better. And then Arker and Lighter, just to give it some variation. So all you do is figure out where you want that. And then I just hold it down with my fingers. I didn't have any issue. Still, like when you're blending, roll onto it because you don't want those really big spotchy bits that you can get when you've got too much ink. Just put more roll onto it. Just getting the very first layer on. Now the thing with ink is it layers upon itself. So I hope you can see that move just a tiny bit. Oh, just move it back. No big deal. It's so easy. You don't have to tape it down. I mean, that's just going to take you more time. And just use your fingers and you'll be good to go. So we'll make this part a little darker. Go even darker here. Then a little, a little more here. And then we're going to put some down here too. And you just keep going to you have it how you want it. And it's going to be, yours is going to be different. I mean, but think of all the fun backgrounds you can do with this. Just using um, some dyes. And it literally takes like maybe five minutes rolling it through several times. Whoops. There we go. I think I'm done because things started moving. So that's it. Look how fun and cute. And if you go, oh, well, there's nothing here. I want to fill that in. Guess what? Now, the one thing, here's where I caution you, because I did this with my um, with my starfish, is don't go over these edges of the plastic here, okay? So you're going to have to be a little bit more careful here of staying on the window sheet there now you probably I probably could have moved one in further and done that that would make sense too so you could go maybe like this and use this one here that way you wouldn't have to worry about going outside the edges and um oops I got a little there but it actually looks like it's supposed to be there so what we can do with that is just go here's some here so I'm going a little heavier on the hearts now now I feel like this ends you know needs some need some extra so this is I'm just improving now <laughs> I'm just I am improving okay we're gonna do this I'm gonna fill it in more and we're gonna put this one in there oh there we go and should we do a little down there just a touch I'm going to really fill this one up. So see, I've kind of like taken it and made it my own here. I just decided to go heavy on the hearts. There we go. Oh, you do have to be careful. You see how I am getting a little smudge? Um, the ink is coming through from there. So you might need to be a touch careful there. Word of, word of caution. But we have this wonderful thing that we actually don't sell. But you can get it on um, different places. And it's called a Tombow um, Sand Eraser. And you can literally go like this. So I'm going to shake the table. Oh my gosh, here we go. And we can just get rid of this smudge right here. Sometimes you've got to go a little bit harder. There we go. So we're learning as we go here. Too easy, right? Oh, look, there's a little smudge there. I'm, I've probably got ink on my fingers. Let's be real. There we go. Okay, we're going to stop there before we just keep making it. Sometimes you just make it worse. So you can see we've, we've like beefed it up a little bit with the background and filled the whole thing in. Or you can do like this where she's kind of done a pattern. And with my starfish, I did the whole background so you can just change it you could just do you know a couple if you wanted it's all up to you there's no right or wrong and now we just build the card and I will just take you all the way through since we started 
we may as well go the whole way. Okay, hopefully my internet's working. That's one thing is when I'm standing up, sometimes I can't see the camera. Whew, my allergies are just awful today and I have cardio-induced asthma. So whenever my allergies are bad, I feel like my asthma really flares up. And then when I get excited, it's just like even worse. <laughs> but, you know, that's life for me. Okay, then I took a piece of Fleur de Flamingo and Cherry Cobbler. And we have this fun die that's also in the Hearts and Hugs die set. And it's this long one here. Oh, I'm going to have to find where I just put my heart dies. We don't want to lose them. Okay, I'll find them in a minute. Okay, so I've just cut them out. And then I've run them through with this new embossing folder. It's called the Eyelet 3D Embossing Folder. And it looks like that. It's very cool. Now, you can use any one. I think Michelle used um, the Basics, one of the Basics 3D Embossing Folders. But again, just use whatever you want, whatever you have. And we're just going to put this about here. And then this one. I'm so excited. There's so many things. I'm always excited for a new catalog. But it's sad to see some things leaving. You get excited when some things are staying over. And you're like, yes, they're staying. And then all the new product, because that just means new creativity. Oh, my. So we're going to wrap this baker's twine. Is it baker's twine? Just twine. Baker's twine, right? Oh, I'm having a mental. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, too. Whoopsie. I'm going to put it this way. I'm not struggling at all. <laughs> And we'll just do a little snip. And we'll just do a little bow. If you don't like bows, just tie a knot here. It doesn't have to be a bow. I hear a lot of people like, oh, bows. Tie a knot. It's all good. That's actually what I did on my on my um, starfish card. I, I'll show you in just a second exactly what I did. Boop. There we go. Pull that down. And we'll just trim that tail a little bit. Okay, so I'm working a little bit too close to me. Um, this one, I've glued it. It's one piece cut across and glued. And then this second piece is just tied a piece around it in a knot. And it still looks decorative and fun. It doesn't have to be a bow. Now, one thing with this ribbon, it does fray. So make sure you cut it at a good angle. Um, to try to stop that fraying and then I just wouldn't play with it much after you after you cut it because it will fray it's very fine but it's very good to work with if that makes sense so next I got the stylish shapes dies which are sticking around yay where would we be without our stylish shapes suckle dies and then I got the cute little mouse well again I'm, I'm casing michelle's card right this is pretty much what her card looked like so we're just changing it a little bit and she uses adorable little mouse here and she's just stamped that in um black memento and then i colored found my dyes i colored mine with i'm gonna show you here it, here it is, it's so cute. I'm pretty sure we use different colors, but I used um, light and dark flirty flamingo for the little, there's little pink ears and little pink heart. And then I used crumb cake, um, light and dark. And one of the crumb cakes actually looks a little bit more yellow than brown. So you could go a little heavier using the dark crumb cake, but I liked this look that I was going for. So I went with that. So then we are just going to use more dimensionals. Pretty easy, pretty basic if you're new to crafting. This is um, a fun one. You do need a stamp and cut emboss machine. I recommend the big one because you can fit all the things on there. 
and you can fit multiple dies. However, I also have the small one, the mini cut emboss machine. And I love that when I'm just doing one quick die, you know, if I'm doing um, just one and I have to do a whole bunch of them, that works fantastic for me too. So ultimately, I suggest having them both if you can, if you can squeeze that. And then if you want to get that at the discount, remember 20% off um, when you become a demonstrator. So we're going to put this on this card base. Now this one I glued straight down, but you know what? Let's pop it up. So you actually get, um, <coughs> excuse me, 20% 20, 20 off of your order. Plus you do get Stampin' Rewards when your orders go over 150. That's our current rewards program. It's actually going to change and it's actually going to be better for everyone. It's going to be really cool. $50.00. To start earning rewards and you can bank your rewards just like you know when you order a pizza or whatever um, but that change is not coming until maybe October maybe not even next year so don't know why I bought it up but <laughs> right now you can if you um, join the team oh hang on I've cut these out as well using those same dies and I've cut them out of cherry cobbler um, cardstock and you know what's easier is don't put don't put glue on the die just put a little glue onto the page and then put the die on top of it or the die cut I should say and this just makes life so much easier there we go and we finish it off with some cork rounds and I believe the cork rounds are carrying over where are they where did I put them here we go these are these fun cork rounds and at first I would be I would like look at these and I wouldn't think I'll put that with this card but they actually go really cute with it so way to go Michelle so again this was Michelle's design Michelle Sturgeon from um, on stage this was hers like pretty much cased and then I've just amped it up with lots more hearts and then I've made this super simple one um, now, if you want to know, the dim dimensions are exactly the same. This is using one of the new in colors, um, Summer, what's it called? Summer Splash. But this is using um, Calypso Coral. Okay, and then some new bling. And this is a embossing folder, one of the 3D cutting embossing folders. Let me show you everything. Okay, now we've seen the cards. Yay for the cards. But let's see all the goodies okay that I've used to make these cards need a sip of coffee hang on oh hope you can't hear me gulping <laughs> okay so again this is the hearts and hugs um, bundle and it's just adorable I can see it's gonna be one of my favorites oh, I want to get these flowers out and put little flowers and it's so cute okay I really really like it and I just love a, a, a little critter I'm oh, <coughs> I'm dying now <coughs> excuse me so sorry just so happy <laughs> so this is what I made this card with here and it's seaside wishes and it's super cute I love sand dollars I haven't found one yet but they have them here in South Carolina I just haven't well I really haven't gone looking much um, because normally when I go to the beach, it's like really hot and there's 20,000 people down there already. <laughs> so this is one of these hybrid embossing folders. And that's exactly what I did this morning was I cut, oh, this is a basic beige, which um, a new a new color that we're carrying. It's not an in color. It's actually addition to our basic white and basic black. It's called basic beige. And it kind of reminds me of old Sahara sand. So I love that they've created this as a base color because that now gives room for that additional color that we have. Kitty cat, I can't see baby. Thank you. So you put hybrid embossing folder. You use the Stampin' Up side. You put that in there. Then you put your paper in your cupboard with, as a regular embossing folder. Straight through you go, okay? And then it'll come out. Oh my gosh, my cat, every time. 
I won't see you for hours, but sit down to do a video and whoop, there you are. So, <laughs> whoop, there it is. Um, oh, okay, let's not, let's not get, uh, let's not get copyrighted. Okay, so the Seaside Wishes, you'll end up with these three sand dollars, or what are they called, mermaid coins? And I did put a little glitter, um, Winker Stella on here. And if I bring that up, I'll see if you can see the difference. And I also, it looks a lot paler when you first cut this. So I went back over with the Basic Beige and a Stampin' Blend a brush. Sorry, a blending brush. Not a Stampin' Blend. A blending brush. And I went back over and it gives it a little bit more depth. Um... So you can really see what's going on because I'll show you the basic beige color so you can see what I'm talking about so that basic beige is a lot lighter and brighter and I wanted it to have a more earthy kind of look to it so that's what we've done there okay that's the card and I'm really happy with the way it came out like uh, customers in March when I get back from my vacation just saying you may be seeing this in the mail and um, the bling on it is called adhesive fat pearl trio and it is a new one from the new mini oh it's gonna quickly become one of my favorites I can tell it gives me that really like under the sea mermaid type feel like little little just I don't know but it went perfectly with my Calypso coral here so yay even though I think this is peach pie maybe but um if you're ever wondering about well what colors are in here and they're not listed on the back just go online in the search bar type in your number here doot, 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 doot. it'll bring it up and then it'll actually show when you click more information it'll show you the coordinating colors and you can do that with um, the paper and everything so just quickly throw in that item number and you don't have to put the item number it's just quicker than writing adhesive backed pearl trio but you can also just type pearl trio and it will come up now this is not going to come up till May 1st just remember that but I showed you the fun embossing folder that we used the eyelet 3d embossing folder now let me show you i've got some cards that i've made <coughs> excuse me but i've also got the new in colors so happy and fun we have starting at the top we will start with shy shamrock and that's the ink pad and this is the color and the shy shamrock and the summer splash excuse me look kind of similar but this has got a much more green base and you'll see i'm going to put them together in a minute the summer splash is very blue now this is my favorite petunia pop and it also won the favorite um new in color at on stage we all got to get a a ping pong ball and put it in front of which one we liked if you've ever seen master chef it was a little like that but with five colors it was kind of fun and then we have summer splash and this is the color i've used here and it's got that coastal cabana kind of um bermuda but nah, bermuda bay was way darker it's got more like a coastal cabana vibe to it um but when you look at them and you go oh that's wasn't that the same color here's the difference you can really see that this is green base and this is blue base okay and they actually perfectly pair together like wine and cheese wonderful together <laughs> okay so next we have pretty in pink and this is the original pretty in pink making a comeback as an in color and there's so many people saying, oh, I wish it was back to the regular, like added back to the colors, um, the main colors. But this, I think, retired in 2013. I think the years, it was 1998 to 2013. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But um, it was an original, uh, well, one of the 
not an original colour, but it was a colour and it's come back. Peach pie. Now, I don't really see this as peach in honesty. <laughs> this looks like the colour I had my bedroom painted when I was a child. Um, and it was called uh, Palomino, like the horse. And this, if you look up, if you go Google a Palomino horse, it's kind of got this uh, orangey type colour to it. But I absolutely love it. It, it just looks, it's like even brighter in, in real life, you know. So, yes, love it. And then we have our fun added to the basics um, collection there. And that is the basic beige. And this is going to be so versatile. I've already used it several times in my cards. And um, I love it. And then you can always like, like I did with the dollar brush. So there's our end colours. Now let's move on to some sample cards. Now this first one I did make because <laughs> very basic. <laughs> I don't. I like simple cards, so that's how my brain works. It's just yay. Let's let's make it easy. So you'll notice this is um, some new DSP here. Don't ask me what the paper pack is. I, I haven't memorised all the names yet. But this tree, um, here in South Carolina, they have this thing called the Angel Oak Tree. And I've gone and seen it, and it's amazing. And the Angel Oak Tree actually makes this tree look small. <laughs> so um, Google that for inspiration. But I just wanted this to be quick and easy, so I've just stamped it in pecan, pecan, pie. I say it I say it both ways, just for so that way you can't say I didn't say it right, because I said it both ways. <laughs> And these fun little adhesives that were in the annual and they're carrying over to these little sequins and this is a basic beige ribbon and this stamp set is called loveliest tree and this is what I use now everyone knows the loveliest trees um, stamp set but this is a little different so this has one tree and it's got congratulations thank you happy birthday sending heartfelt sympathy and a little leaf there and I just want to make a masculine happy birthday but this could also be a, just as easy be a sympathy card or a thank you card I mean you just change the sentiment here I used the stylish shaped dies for that sentiment and I just popped it over it actually stamps the whole bottom but I just popped it over the top I was like this what this is what works for me now using the same Oh, where's the dies? We're going to need the dies. Um, oh no. Sonia's frantically looking at this chaos for the dies. Um, there we go. Now, this I cased from on stage. However, I've changed it up a little bit. So, I wanted it to look like cherry blossoms. So I've used a different paper. I didn't have the paper that they had. But I also used um, that wood green from that wood green pack. Oh, I'm going to find out what it's called. But I used that to actually make it look like trees. When they had done their, I can't remember who created this, but they had put pink um, stems. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so I actually, this, this just reminded me of cherry blossoms. And this was some of the new DSP I used. Again, I can't remember everything. I am going to do an unboxing and we're going to go through and do all the sheets of all the wonderful paper and all everything. Um, but that will have to wait till I get back from vacation. So I also used the Basic Beige um, ribbon where they had used a different one here. But this is actually a... Um, I, I just guessed at what they did. So... It looked like a deckled rectangle die, so I used a mask, like masking paper, with a deckled rectangle die cut out in the middle, and then I watercolored it, flipped it with a blend, and for a little thank you, a little bird, and boom. So I, I would literally just looked at a picture and I guessed at how they did it. Now I did notice I didn't do a good job of gluing it down. I was heat setting it, and when I did it, it wrinkled a little bit. So my advice to you there is to make sure you have the glue um, good at the edges so you can flatten it down. Otherwise, you're going to end up like this, and we don't want this. But super cute, right? 
So those dies came from the loveliest trees, uh, loveliest true die set, and it's not a big die set, but it's everything you need. So there's some leaves. This is the top of this, and actually everything came out really quite easily. And then there's your tree trunk. So use this part and this part. Very easy. And I would suggest using an adhesive sticker sheet for this. That would just make life so much easier. So now this one was one I cased to. I, I don't have the names written down of who I cased this from. But it was all in the lead. Um, it was in the demonstrator planning place, which is a group that's just for Stampin' Up! demonstrators who are active. So look at this beautiful paper background. Um, this we've got, we've stamped on here a little bit, stamped on here, used a little bit of those in color twine and just a quick missing you. And I used the thoughtful wishes with this. So this one, I used this little flower here and the font on these is just beautiful. I love a good splatter. I was going to like splatter on this too, but I was like, no, it's, it, it's not needed. The The paper does all the work for you on this. And just a little missing you and you're done. I love that. She had a whole bunch of them. They were doing the different sentiments. So really loved that. And then, oh, I don't know where I put my dies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're going to love these dies if I can find them. Spotlight on Nature dies. Um, they actually come with a stamp set, which I don't know where I've put my Spotlight on Nature stamp set. So out on stage, we could do an add-on craft night where we got to purchase um, a, a bundle that came with a pack of paper and embellishments and everything, and we got to craft that night. And this is what I picked because look at these dies. O-M-G, right? This is the um, Spotlight on Nature dies. And you've got two whole sets. How many is in here? It used to tell us um, on here. Now my eyeballs are so small. Okay, 12. There's 12 dies. And they all go on top of each other. Like they all layer. So... It is just awesome. And you can, I think you can mix and match because they look to be the same size. So, oh, they're really stuck on. Yeah, they're actually the same size. So you can mix and match your dies to get even more um, combinations. Absolutely just in love with these. I hope they stay forever. Spotlight on each dies. And so this is some of this fun, cute paper. And like it would look more like this but then I chopped it all up and they had done a sampler on stage um they had done like some paper that kind of went in different colors as it came down and then they put something across the middle but um with this if I put this up here in the middle it kind of like took up most of the of the pattern and I really wanted this paper to play through and show through and I think it just makes it look a lot more abstract with it all being cut. And because you see that part lines with that part. So you just, when you cut it, you want to keep it in line so you know what you're doing. And you're about half inch from the bottom, half inch from the top. You see, mine's not perfect. I don't care. I just love this technique. And I did that one too. And I just matching this backing color with the color that was kind of like pulling that out on that paper. And I... I just want to make a whole bunch of these. Oh, so um, you may end up with this one, customers, from um, March. <laughs> when I get back in April and meet my customer thank you cards. We're not sure what you're going to get yet. Okay, the next one was, um, again, by, I think, I don't want to say this one was by Michelle Sturgeon. Because there were, there was three different on stages in three different countries. And people were all placing that in the demonstrator website. So I can't be 100% sure. But this was just such a fun and easy card. Basically, we used the um, basic beige and just stamped sending a big hug, right? And then we stamped out the little cutie critter. 
and there are die cuts that go with that with the hearts and hugs I showed you so we just die cut that this is that same banner from the hearts and hugs and then some um, ink hearts and boom a sentiment so cute so easy and um, it's just a fun card and you can change up those colors and do it same card in all different colors and it would look so fun okay now this one oh, one of my favorite sets um, I actually used to be a, a helicopter mechanic in the military so I I like things that fly um, now if this was an AH-64 Delta Apache helicopter I would be going crazy but <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> crazy like happy but it's an old-fashioned airplane which is super cute still I love this plane and um, I love these cloud dies up in here I love the font and I love that it can be used for masculine or feminine it has it does have a happy Father's Day but it also has to my friend you always lift me up flying by to say hi you're the best plain and simple love it and a happy birthday and I love this fun background stamp too. So you, it does not have to be a masculine card. And I actually can't wait to make a feminine card using this stamp set. So a very, very simple card. This was done at On Stage Houston. I don't remember who. Now I've changed up the paper. Um, this was not the paper they used. Because in this paper pack, it has like sheets where you can cut out tags. And so they use, but you only have, you know two of each tag in a whole pack of paper and if I'm going to do a class in um, I'm going to need multiples of everything so this is why I changed the paper and then we use the hexagon punch and this is in smoky slate and then the white um, watercolor pencil and just colored in the stamps some clouds and then just colored in with the white watercolor pencil and I love this little idea of tying knots at the end. Like it's just two pieces of baker's twine. And I tied a knot and then I kind of held up my sentiment. I pre-cut my sentiment and then I kind of tied the knot to fit the sentiment. And then this little trinket here, it's really hefty. So I definitely used my Tombow Liquid Multi, put that on there. And let it sit and let it dry it's going to take longer to dry because it's not getting any air to it or anything so just let it sit put it to the side and let it dry um, so again all I changed on here is the paper and it's a very quick simple and easy masculine card and then the last one oh now this was created and I don't I, I'm, I'm gonna have when I when I do my unboxing I'll make sure I go through and get everyone's names but this was created on stage and I just had to case it. Now again, I did change something here. The tag that they used, they again used the tag that was pre-cut, you know, it's in the paper and it's like you just cut it out. Let me see if I can show you that actual tags that I'm talking about. Here we go. Oh, sneak peek of the paper. So you've got these tags here. So this six, but there's only two sheets so if I have you know six people at my class this not gonna get me where I need to go but those are the tags and look at some of this and I think they use one of oh one of the cards used this that was it they were using this paper right here this um, piece so this is great if you're just doing it for you use you can use those but I designed for classes um, both in person and online so now this one so what I did was I got the tailor-made tags dies and I just cut one out from this fun paper and I was like too easy right now look at these dies and then stamping on the cloud so I'm going to show you I haven't even yeah you know, I showed you the, the the set but adventurous sky dies this was just so much fun just making this and it's just three quick die cuts and it was so easy and it just packs so much visual punch it really does when you look at it it's just kind of and the clouds look like they're floating it's it's very 3d because I've popped these up and I just I'm in love I am absolutely in love with this and you can do all different colors 
and you can just let creativity run wild. So here's the amazing guys. And this is the base right here. And I did that in Knighted Navy. And then I did the body in Mossy Meadow. That's that dyed there. So it goes on top. So you just want to, when you're gluing it down, just remember don't put glue up the top because it doesn't need to go. See that? It's not going to go up the top. And then the cute little propeller, which actually cuts out two of them at a time. And let me put that back there. This is the little propeller die here, and you've got two of them. And then you've got the little plane, the medium plane, and the large plane. So you've got the dies to cut out all three planes. And then I'm not sure what this is. Kind of looks like a tow bar of some kind. <laughs> I, I don't know what this little die is for. If anyone can figure that out, let me know. But we also have a bed. Oh, that's what it's for. That's right. That's right. I got it now. So this is such a cute idea. So you get your plane and then you can actually put a banner behind the plane. Now you are going to need a longer piece. But if you're doing a scrapbook, oh, this would be wonderful for that. So you can actually stick this back behind there and then you can have your banner on here or you can put it like that too, I guess. And so that's kind of like towing the banner along. I'll go back and look at exactly how they did that, but super cute, right? You think I can remember where I just pulled that from? This is why I outline all my dies so I can remember where where they fit on the sheet there so there we go but yeah i i am in love with this look at that it's probably like i don't know it's just so fun it gives me such toy story vibes seriously um woody buzz toy story love it and then did i use I'm not sure if I used these sentiments, but since I have the die, the, the, the stamp set here, I may as well show you that um, this is an Unbounded Love stamp set, and I really like, it's like a build set, so that you can mix and match the, um, the sentiments together, and so, um, so you could say, hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow, or you could have hope never gives up. Hope is being sure of what we cannot see. They all make sense. Love, faith, best of luck, peace, you're a true blessing, makes the world a better place. Little one, friend, you've got this, feel better soon. Celebrate, hello, you are loved, friend. Make all your wishes come true. Have a blessed day with sympathy. My heart goes out to you, just for you, to you and yours, and happy birthday. What an amazing set. This is one of our... Um, million dollar sellers set i don't know who because i'm bad at paying attention to that but um I, it'll probably say in the catalog maybe but um amazing amazing love this set it's perfect it's so versatile it's just spot on today i need to finish up this video so i can get it uploaded onto youtube and um get you so you can see this at 3 p.m. Now next week I will be away on vacation so there won't be a video. I will do an online ordering special. Make sure you're on my email list for that and um, I'll send out an email and there we go. That's everything and I'll also be doing a um, unboxing video when I get back. I can show you all, all the rest of the beautiful stuff I've got to share with you is so exciting but for now go and grab your supplies I want to see you make I'm giving you a creative challenge this week okay I want to see you go out there and make a stencil um, with something that you already have and create a card it can be very very simple like mine like this just make it you can make it so simple okay it doesn't have to be fancy schmancy so you can make it quick and easy but I would love, or you can go full detail, whatever makes your heart happy. But I would love to see you guys create this and then go to my Facebook 
um, there's a link in the description below and we are linked by ink and um, post in there I have every week I post in my Facebook group um, share your creativity post and I'll have a date on it post during that date under that comment um, you know post your picture as a comment and you're also entered to win a free embellishment um, for the week and next week I will be delayed because I will be on vacation but I'll draw it when I come back um, like I got delayed with the last one because we were at on stage and everything got crazy coming back but then I'll just do it you know the next week or whatever so um, everyone does get a chance to win who enters that week and I have ladies who have been posting there since I've been doing it and some of them have won so many times so jump on if we can make that grow you know then um, that'll be great too but I'd really love to see you guys try this okay I've rambled on enough <laughs> thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and um, I truly appreciate all your support and um, say hi in the comments okay take care now bye